Hey everyone, I know it's been a while since I last uploaded, but I'm just gonna get straight into the video because there's no time to apologize when I have time to get back onto the channel and make some new content for you. Definitely gonna be some changes coming with some side channels and content shifts just with the genre and all that, but I will still be here. I'm probably not gonna take another long break for a while. I extended it more than I think I should have, but now I'm back and that's all that matters. Anyways, if you guys didn't know, I am at the beach this week in Rhode Island. Many people like the beach. I used to like the beach, actually. But now it's actually become a problem for me to be here. Because if there's one thing that people should know about me, it's that I hate the beach. I might be asking, why do you hate the beach? It's just fun and games, playing on the sand and relaxing in the sun. Well, basically, when I'm at the beach, it's like there is no fun. The games are horrifying. You're melting in the sun and the sand is burning your skin. I could bitch about this for 20 minutes, but instead I'm gonna show you this helpful slideshow entitled, Why I Hate the Beach. Enjoy. Reason number one, sand. Stupid motherfucker. Yep, the first reason why I hate the beach is the sand. That stupid mother- Basically, people have different feelings about sand. Some people think sand is good, then sand is one of the best things about the beach, the way it warms up your feet. <sighs> no, that's not my experience with sand and it never will be. My experience with sand is, you step on it and it hurts. It just burns the bottom of your foot right off. I go out on that beach every day and what do I feel? Nothing but pain, as the bottoms of my feet are permanently scarred from the 500 degree heat of that sand. The second reason I hate sand is because that shit gets everywhere. Legitimately everywhere. You have no idea where I have found sand. I have found sand in these areas, but not limited to these areas. My bedroom, my dad's car, my hair, my pockets. You don't even want to know where else I found it. Seriously, though, how much people can accept the sand is just lost on me. It annoys the living shit out of me to find sand everywhere I go. I'm sitting on sand, I'm basically drowning in fucking sand, and I'm at my own house. I'm not really my house, it's a beach house, but that's, that's not the point. It's not the point. Reason number two. The freezing cold water. Back in the days where I accepted the beach as somewhere I actually liked, I commonly went in the water. However, I always did have a problem with the fact that the water was negative 80 degrees. You know that feeling that you have, it's like a really cold touches your skin and you just feel like, mm. that is me when I get in that water and probably a whole lot of other people too. So I don't really know why I'm complaining about it, but that water is always freezing, which is one of the reasons I hate going to the beach because I like warm showers, not feeling like I'm drowning in a pit of ice. Seriously though, this annoys me a whole lot and I wish the oceans would just kind of warm up. Ah, the worst reason I hate the beach. The dickheads that dwell on it. If you're on the beach, you're likely to encounter some very, very mean enemies, such as the sand that gets everywhere that I've already mentioned. The freezing cold water. Those annoying ass gulls that fly over your head. None of them get me more fucking angry than the people that roam that beach. I've had a few experiences in the past with people that just don't know etiquette. People that don't know what they should do and what they shouldn't do. Here's an example. So one time I was on the beach, there was a couple next to me. I didn't really mind the couple, they weren't really doing anything to annoy me, until the guy right next to me decided to desand his towel directly in my face, right into my eye. Don't laugh, it isn't funny. It hurt, because the sand went directly into my eyes. I sat up, I was laying down, and I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And he just looked at me like, I didn't do anything, please. Doing that is basically the equivalent of doing this. Is this the broken sink? I think I'll be fine. Oh fuck, this is my favorite shirt. I would wring it out, but I don't really want to do it on this nice floor. And this is such a nice bathroom to ruin. Hmm. <laughs> what? Do you fucking mind? So basically, we just kept arguing back and forth, and it wasn't really going there, so I eventually just moved my stuff, not gonna get into a bigger conflict than it needs to, and just left. Then, when I thought I couldn't get any more mad, we were like the perfect spot, I was really mad, something even worse happened. I hate when it happens to me, and maybe I'm overreacting about it, but this is just my general reaction to it. I get super f 
fucking pissed. People should be more careful of the things they do on the beach and be more aware of people around them. Because when a group of kids were hitting a ball around, you will never guess what happened to me. Something like this. What a nice day at the beach. It's like, do you fucking mind? Someone's walking by and you just hit them in the head? Come on, th this is just not even acceptable. I, I can't even. Well, that's the video for today. If you can relate, tell me so down in the comments and give me your worst beach experiences. And maybe I'll read them out in the next video just to show the misery the world causes for us. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.